make a Valentine's Day cookie banner. Hi everyone, my name is Lupita and welcome to the Cookie Couture. Today I'm going to share with you a video that I posted last year but the sound was horrible and I decided to do it again. The other one is in Spanish and this one is going to be in English so I hope that you enjoy this tutorial and let's get started. These are the materials that you're going to use to make this cookie banner. Cookie cutters. Valentine's sprinkle mix. Red disco dot. Medium consistency royal icing in natural color. Floating consistency icing in red and pink. A pastry bag with a decorating tip number one, ribbon, and edible markers. When you are going to make a cookie banner, normally you need to have your cookie dough very thin. First, I use my rings to even my cookie dough. Now I'm going to take out the rings and I'm going to spread my cookie dough so it is thinner. The reason I like my cookies thinner when I'm going to use them for banners is that they're not going to be that heavy and it's going to be easy to hang them on the wall. One thing that I love to use is this little circle that is going to make the holes to put the ribbons in the cookies when I use Now that we cut out our cookies, let's bake them at 350 for 10 to 13 minutes. When your cookies are out of the oven, you need to let them cool. Meanwhile, you can prepare your medium consistency oil icing and put them in a pastry bag with the decorating tip number one. And then you will need to outline the circles that you make to put the ribbon on it so they don't plug or they don't fill up with icing when you're decorating your cookie. This is very, very important. Then you will need to prepare your floating royal icing and you need to tint it in pink and in red. If you click the link above, you can see how you can make a very bright red floating icing. Then I prepare a mix of Valentine sprinkles and as I have told you in some other tutorials, when you are going to add sprinkles to your cookie, you need to stick to your design and first put the icing in the part that is going to be filled with sprinkles. Like in this case, the arrow on the heart is the one that's going to have the sprinkles. So I first put the floating icing and add the sprinkles and then I will continue to decorate the cookie as I plan in my design. For this other heart, I flooded with red icing and then I'm going to add a lot of disco dust. This is very important. When you're going to add disco dust to your cookie, you need to be very careful because that disco dust is not particularly for eating, it's just for decorating. After all your cookies are completely dry, you can use an edible marker to add some messages to some of your cookies. Also, when your cookies are completely dry, you can put the string in the holes to make the banner.
Okay guys, this is it for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and push the notification button so you can know when I post more videos and also don't forget that you can follow me on my social media. See you until next time. Bye bye.